Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the dot product. Right here, we are going to go ahead and look at an example that actually is provided by Epic itself. They have the content examples, and one of the example maps is the math hall. One of the sections in the math hall is actually covering vector math, and if you haven't gone over it yet, it's something I'd recommend. So, the nice thing about this is there is an interactive, interactive example of the dot product itself, so we can see how it works. So, first of all, the dot product itself, it's used to check how similar two vectors are. It is part of vector math, and it's something that is very complicated under the hood. There is a lot of ways of doing it, and a lot of things it's used for. But to summarize it, the primary use most of the time will be to determine how similar two vectors are. As in, is this vector the same direction of another vector? Or is it literally the exact opposite direction? Using normalization and absolute functions, you can easily determine if you're looking at something or something is looking at you. So let's see how this works in practice. So for example here, let's say this orange arrow that's pointing up is going to be our player and their camera. It's what the player is looking at. And let's say the red node represents the forward facing angle of a button. So using the dot product, you can tell if you're looking at the button. So if we drag this down up, let's drag it up, you're going to see our value at the bottom, which is changing 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and slowly getting to 1, based on if it is the same direction of the other thing that we're checking at, our A and our B, our targets. If they are the same, we're going to get a 1. That means the button forward direction and our player camera forward direction are the same. They're both coming out to a 1. Now if we were to flip this, we're going to get a negative 1. We're going to see that our player camera is facing the opposite direction of the buttons facing. But in this case, that's useful because that's telling us that our player is facing the front or the forward facing direction of our button. Seems like a little complicated there, but I'll show you the example of how it works and you'll understand completely. So that's kind of the key. When you use a cross product and you put in the two vectors, it's going to let you know on a scale of negative one to one if it's facing the same or the opposite direction. So let's go ahead and let's look at our node itself and our example. So here's our dot product node. And it's pretty simple. There are two inputs and one output. It's going to take in two vectors that are going to be the same size. Or something like, for example, a vector 3 and a vector 1 where if you use a vector 1, it's going to represent all three values. So for example, let's say we have a x, y, z here, and just an x, a 1 value. It's going to compare the x, y, z against the x, y, and z, where this one's all the same value. So how does it work? Well, for example here, if we were to use it, how this is working is I'm comparing if I am facing this material. And if I'm facing this material, it's going to be green. And if it's not, it's going to change to red. So based on how much I'm facing the material will determine how green it becomes. And I'm using the absolute node and, sorry, I'm using the dot product and the absolute node to determine it based on if it's a one or a negative one. So technically, if I was facing away from it, it would turn green as well, which of course doesn't really matter because we can't see it. So that is how the dot product works, and this is how our dot product node itself works. It basically takes in an A and a B, determines the dot product result, and then gives it back to you. Now, showing you another use for it, if we were to instead change it from our Z value, if we're looking at it, to the actual camera vector itself, you're going to get back this weird looking green effect. 
And this is going to show you basically how the dot product works. Our forward facing vector is going to match. It's going to be close to our one value. So we're going to get a green. And this is going to slowly go up to our zero value, which is going to be our red. And of course, depending on the other nodes used in here, like for example, our power node lurping between the different colors, our reds, our greens and such, that's determining what we're actually seeing. But for an all intents and purposes, what we care about is our dot product node here, which has two inputs, one output, and it basically calculates the dot product result. So if you need to determine if something is looking at something else, or if two things are on the exact same plane, basically, they're both going in the same direction, that's what you use the dot product node for. And normally you would normalize it so that way you get a smaller result to compare against. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.